Welcome to the EPA grant overview. This session is meant to be a bit of a broader overview of the EPA grant, as well as go over the grant timing. If you come walk away from this meeting thinking, why is EMA doing this? Um, you'll be able to answer that question pretty convincingly. So this is pretty exciting. This is part of a $160 million grant effort to support the shift to cleaner construction materials. What we were able to say in our grant application is that we're going to go from one manufacturer who has an EPD in place right now to nine. This is really kind of the, uh, the crux of the whole thing, how you get an environmental product declaration. The scope of what we're talking about, what we're thinking is uh, we would have kind of three core or three industry-wide EPDs, and then we looked at all the manufacturers and all their variations, and we kind of came up with 1,350. The product category rule, what the PCR does is to basically assess what kind of environmental impact they have over the system life. We're thinking now, anyways, the best thing for us would be to have an each specific product category rule. So once you've got the product category rule, there's a life cycle assessment that's conducted. Then there's what's called the program operator. And they basically take, the, this is a separate entity from the provider, and they basically do a third party verification of the results from the provider. Once the EPDs are done, and this is kind of one of the bigger things, one of the bigger things that we're looking for in terms of NEMA, is you know we want to make sure that these EPDs are understandable and supportable. Why are we doing this? Because this is going to be a lot of work. Why should the federal government invest money in this industry? EMA, where we're perfectly suited to do this, you can have the best product in the world, but if your target audience doesn't know about it, it's not going to matter much. We should have uh, clear and concise instructions for the data gathering. If or when we find those gaps, we can all work together. There are many, many steps here. It's going to be a lot of data collection and then the promotion side of it. If you don't have an EPD, I think it's going to be a barrier to entry.